Hi everybody, Doug Backinger, Vice President of Sales at Caster Concepts. Uh, a commonly asked question we get is, why would I use a shock absorbing caster? So there's really two main applications that we see for shock absorbing casters. So the first one is, kind of in the name of the caster, is to remove um, impact loads um, to act as a shock absorber in your application. So in this case, um, you know, a typical spring-loaded caster, the rated load is rated for half the spring deflection. So then you have half the movement down to be able to, you know, take up shocks with like potholes and chuck holes and things like that. And then you can also move up for going over like expansion joints and things like that. So we see shock absorbing casters being used when typically when you're moving more say delicate loads or you're going over uneven terrain, that's where we see a lot of shock absorbing casters used. So the second application is, so we see this a lot in the ground support equipment industry. So with, with like jacking systems. So the casters will have the jack off the ground, uh, the jacks moved into position and as it's loaded or extended, the casters then deflect to where the jack is actually taking all of the load. So then you can load the jack up to whatever you know, whatever you're trying to, to move or lift. So that's the second main application that we see for shock absorbing casters. They both require kind of different design inputs. So what we always recommend is if you're going down the path of just buying a spring loaded caster or a shock absorbing caster, definitely talk to somebody first to make sure that whatever your application is, you have the right amount of travel, um, you'll collapse at the right load capacity, so these are things that you just want to double check before you just pick something off a website or off a catalog. So I think that covers it for shock absorbing casters. Thanks.